It's time for in other news. We take a look at the news stories that may not be on your radar, but they should be. Now, Colton the Shaperky, I think I pronounced that correctly. He was the winner of the non sporting group of the 143rd annual Westminster Kennel Dog Club show. He was deemed ineligible to compete in best in show because of a conflict of interest. Oh, the black dog can't compete <laughs> during Black History Month. All right, in other news, the residents of a small Canadian town say they've been plagued by the smell of seafood sauce for more than a decade. Come on, man up. We've had to deal with the smell of Baltimore for years. What, y'all from Baltimore? <laughs> Oh, y'all know somebody from Baltimore. That's what that means. In other news, the Lunar New Year is one of Korea's two biggest holidays, and North Koreans have been exchanging presents this month to celebrate. Now, the hot gift to give this year is Pingdu, a.k.a. meth, a.k.a. crystal meth, a.k.a. I will see you at intervention. Meth, the gift that keeps on giving and giving and giving and giving and giving until your teeth fall out. Now, sticking to terrible gifts, a husband invents an everlasting, ever-blooming flower for his wife. Now, the flower blooms when stroked and can light up in every color of the rainbow. Now, ladies, you do not want this. That's lazy. That's what I would do. Christmas, go rub your hand on the tulip. Valentine's Day, go rub your hand on the tulip. First baby outside of marriage, rub your hand on the tulip. Actually, could somebody get him my number? I would love to get that flower as a gift. Let us know with the hashtag GetUpDC. If, like me, you were cheap and would like an everlasting flower to give to your loved ones, hit us up with the hashtag GetUpDC.